So they want somebody to come in who is a licensed adjuster for anything over 7.5K because you're going to get into more complexities. Sure. In terms of uh, the claim itself, you don't want somebody who doesn't know how to handle a proper photo or a proper loss um, by just taking photos and not knowing where exactly to point the camera, what overview they're going to need. It, it becomes a problem when you're getting photo. The desk adjuster is the one getting photos and they're looking at these photos thinking, who took these? I mean, <laughs> this is not somebody who normally does this type of work. Right. Who is this person? Are they off the street? Have they done? Do they have a background in claims? So I think the question is, or really the answer that they want is the states to come in and say, hey, we want a licensed adjuster for anything over 7.5K in damages because they're going to know, A, how to talk to the policyholder, and B, they're going to know where and how to take the photos, and C, they're going to write a proper estimate. Sure, sure. So Yeah, and I think I think that makes sense. Um, and this may kind of touch on AI a little bit and, and a lot of the technology that's the AR technology and the stuff that's being used by the stuff that a lot of money is being poured into by the major carriers in particular. Um and that is, is that there's there's probably going to be a line um, instead of them instead of it being like the reality is, is that there's AI's adjuster jobs just going to evaporate as soon as AI they get there as soon as they get to put the handles on it and everything and they they can make it work that they're just no longer going to need any adjusters. I don't think that's true. I think that, like you said, um, probably what's going to happen is especially since being sued is a lot more expensive than overpaying a claim by 10 or 20 percent appraisal too appraisal too way more expensive right so as those things as that those things increase because you know somebody who's untrained uh, was just taking photos is going out and gathering the wrong data right for the for the desk adjuster to write on um I think that there there will be thresholds, total loss, right? Oh yeah. And it may be that on the other, it might be a bell curve, right? On the other end sure. of that, they're just gonna like send them a check, right? It's yeah. Just, you know. Sometimes they settle over the phone. Sometimes they have the policyholder yeah. take photos. But I mean, man, I've seen the photos that come in from policyholders as well as people who aren't trained to take photos. Yeah. They're not always clear. They're not always in the right lighting. They're not always telling the entire story. Yeah. I mean, you have somebody who's a licensed adjuster especially the guys who don't take scope notes, God bless them. They know (laughs) how to take their photos in order to tell a proper story because they know at the end of the day, hey, I've worked desk like myself. I've worked desk before. I'm going to know how to take that photo. So the desk adjuster looks at it and is like, thank you, because I need the whole story, not a portion of it. Yeah. So the tools are going to be, I mean, they are now like, I mean, you look at Hover and claim experience from Xactimate. I mean, it's, it's something that, Homeowners are and policyholders are going to be doing a lot of like the little teeny tiny claims that we used to do. Oh, One sure. section defense blown down. I mean, you used to get that claim all the time. Now you probably don't ever see that yeah. because it's, you know, the, the the desk adjuster. When I was a staff adjuster, I might get on FaceTime and just be like, hey, walk out in the backyard and just show it to me. And then yeah. pace it off <laughs> and then we'll, you know, here's your money, right? Yeah, exactly. So you get it to a certain point. If, if the roof becomes involved, um, obviously the homeowner's not going to be doing anything about that. So then you got to get... Maybe a ladder assist people to go out there and do it, depending on the complexity of the the claim. You know, I th- it probably is going to be more it's sort of a scenario where things escalate to where you need to have like the fully licensed person like you who comes out, makes a coverage decision, writes the whole estimate, hands them a check, so on and so forth for for the much more complex ones where you got to stand there in the insured's driveway, you know, or, or on the tailgate of the contractor's truck looking at plans and matching estimates and making sure that everybody's on the same page and getting the homeowner paid what they're, they need to be paid in order to get the work done, right? Sure. AI is not going to be able to do that. Um, Bladder says definitely not going to be able to do that. And the photo and scope guys aren't going to be able to do that. So, yeah. you know. AI is just a tool at the end of the day. Yeah. Uh, I recently went to a seminar for, I won't say who, but I went to a seminar and I sat down with not only one of the firm owners or the firm managers, I sat down with the investment firm that owns them all. It's a billion dollar company. Sure. Even they are saying themselves, AI isn't here to, or at least how they see it, is that it is not here to replace the adjuster. It may not necessarily be always beneficial. It may get the data wrong. However, it's a tool to help the adjuster just as the same way that I see Facebook. Facebook is just a tool to help the adjuster. Don't get me wrong. 
don't post every silly question without using the search bar especially, but there are going to be those instances where, hey, I have a question that I can't answer for the life of me. I don't want to look stupid with management, but is going on Facebook always the right way to do it? So it's a right. it's a case by case basis, you know. Sure. Same thing with claims. As an adjuster, you need to know more than just how to read an HO3 policy and how to sketch a three level house in Xactimate. You also need to know how to tell hail damage from wear and tear on composition shingles. The number one resource for damage identification books, trainings, and certifications is Hague Education. Not only that, but they provide building inspection and desk adjuster trainings and certifications as well. These are the guys who make the classic Hague Damage ID books that I used for years to educate myself, my insureds, and quite a few roof sales guys on what is damage that we can pay for and everything else. Looking at you, bird poop. Get a discount on all books, tools, certifications, and other trainings with the code ADJUSTERTV at checkout at HagueEducation.com. You know what's boring? Insurance policies. You know what's not boring? More Adjuster TV vids right here.